Boston South Station, 2016. Going through work, passing through the food court, see some people setting up some boards and pieces. I asked the guy, hey, can I play? And that guy was former US champ, Grandmaster Larry Christensen. Sat down, he walked up, E4. Six, knight c3, knight dwarf, g5, Larry definitely likes to play sharp, So these moves are definitely not the most accurate. But it's a fight. It's been a while since I looked at this. Not this time. E takes D five. Queen takes d5, and he resigned. Has to train, trade queens or it's gonna get mated. And before this, you know, I had, had been playing chess, you know, blitz chess hit off and on for a while. But I always did wonder, like, how would I do against a grandmaster? And I remember during the game, like, I was super focused. As, as focused as, as I've ever been that, that I can remember. And it reminds me of, you know, nowadays with all the knowledge and stuff that, that's available to everyone. It's like the old days when a Kung Fu Grandmaster, you know, would walk in the room, everyone would be, you know, nervous to maybe spar or fight with him. Not, not anymore. Same thing with, with chess back in the day, maybe Grandmaster walks in Oh, he's a grandmaster, can't lose. It's like, like MMA and fighting. It only takes one. Know your fundamentals, focus, they slip up, they're going to go down. And uh, a lot of respect to, to Larry. I mean, this uh, after beating him, they, uh, his wife gave me a, uh, a voucher to the Boylston Chess Club. And I started playing tournaments. And this was the beginning of my chess career journey slash tournaments and yeah i was i remember walking away stoked like wow it was it was definitely a great experience and uh, we actually ended up having a rematch i ended up playing him again same time i'll think it was a week or two later and uh i'll show that one a little bit later but yeah have confidence, believe in yourself, and all things, all things are possible. Till next time, peace.